How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and this is a quick RPG Maker MZ tutorial on how to store text strings into variables. So let me show you how to do it real quick. So we're going to check the game variables and it'll show you here game variable 1, 2, 3 set to 0. Uh, I'll show you different methods to storing strings into variables and even checking them. The first one here, we're going to use a script call. And if we check the variables now, you can see that game variable has stored this is text as a string. Okay, we'll check the next one. Store text into a variable using a control variable method. And then we can check them. And you can see this is also text. Well, the fourth option is going to run a conditional check. And it's going to see if the, the value of one string is equal to another string. And it's going to run a conditional to see if not only can you input values of text strings into variables, can you use them, you know, logically? And you can. So let's run a conditional check. And I've had the conditional um, event change the variable three if it's true. And it is true. It is, in fact, text. So easy, right? Cool. Let me show you how to do that. So one event really quick, starting at the top, we're doing a show choice. And this is just going to show you the variables to reference a variable. You do a backslash V and then in, in brackets, you type in the number you want for the variable to show this. So they'll show zero. And then if they have any value in them, numbers, string, whatever, it'll show you that value as, as a text. The first method here is we're doing a script call tab three at the bottom, advanced script call. Bada boom, and we're just creating a temporary variable, calling it text, you can call it whatever you want. And this is where we put in our string. The most important thing to remember is you have to use parentheses, because if you don't use parentheses, it's gonna think that these are in fact variables and uh, that it's gonna say unexpected error, uh, undefined. So then we're using dollar sign game variables that set value, and we're gonna change the value of one to the string of text that we set here, and that's it. This will store this value inside of your game variables one. Really, really easy. I'll put that on the screen. And then the second method is even easier. You simply go control variables so on tab one, control variables. And in the script box, you just type in what you want it to say. And like, that's it. You just have to remember to use parentheses to say this is going to be a string because otherwise it's going to say un undefined if, if you just type in a, a text without the parentheses. And we're storing that to number two. The next one, we're running a conditional. We're saying if game variables value one is equal to this is text, in which it is if we ran this first one, then it's going to change variable three. So this is how you, you, you check in a conditional branch if a variable has a string value. You just use a conditional tab for script and you don't need parentheses or anything like that except for right here. And that's it. And then so what we want to do is we're going to use both of the methods that we just learned to control a third variable. So we're going to control variable and we're going to say script is in fact text. And then what um, you can do with a script call is amend or add extra stuff to it. So you can say game variables value three is equal to itself plus another string that we're adding. So when you read it in the game, variable three is stored to is in fact text. Easy, right? Because we have changed this so that we've we're, we've manipulated the string twice to store it, and uh, that's basically it. That's all you have to do to store a text string into a variable. Hopefully, you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Come join us on Discord. Love you guys very much. That's gonna do it for me. See you next time. Bye bye.